Hey guys, it's Nate, aka the Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. La Liga team of the season cards have been so tough to pack from upgrade packs, 81 times 11s, and basically everything else. But today that changes because we are all getting a La Liga Tots card today from the guaranteed Tots SBC, right? That's the Wednesday SBC that we always expect, the main league guaranteed Tots pack. And I want to take a look at what that SBC might do to the market, how much it might cost, and will we have an opportunity to invest in those La Liga Tots cards? Will they go up after the SBC today, as we've commonly seen, or do we even want to try to buy them, unless it's just something for your team? So we'll take a look at that, and of course, SBC fodder, which is literally like a glitch for coins right now in this game. Every single day, fodder is tradable and it's viable and flippable during the day. So I want to talk about that in this video. And of course, more League One Team of the Season leaks have been put out there as well. So we're going to take a look at all that and more. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start with yesterday's content as we normally do, just really quick. Yesterday was a pretty quiet day. We had the Roberto Carlos Prime SBC. Now, this SBC is arguably good value. This is like a 300,000 coin icon card just about a week ago. Two-star weak foot at this time of the year just doesn't quite cut it. And of course, he does have a better version that is on the market, the Trophy Titans, that does have the five-star skills. So, albeit not the best version of Roberto Carlos, this SBC is only just above 200k. So, if that's a card you want to get into your ultimate team, it's not going to break the bank for you to do so. We also had the MLS Guaranteed yesterday, which I think I did it and I got, um, oh, the left back, Kai Wagner. Almost thought I had Mukhtar, got trolled by the Germany flag, but uh, it was pretty cheap to do. I mean, 20,000 coins for a gamble at one of those Tots cards. If you hit Vela, Almada, or if you hit Mukhtar, you're super duper happy. But apart from that, and of course the normal SBC refreshes like the 81 times 11 and that stuff, refreshing yesterday, pretty quiet day. We had a UCL final kit as well. EA was super nice and sent me one of those. I have one in person. It's actually really sick. Um, just... You can buy those on the uh, UEFA website as well if you're interested in those. So in-game, a little bit expensive though, uh, but it does look pretty sick. So um, I do want to take a look through what's going down today on this game, right? It was a slow day yesterday. Let's get right into today. The pack weight continues to be pretty bad. Now I'm building upgrade packs. As you can see, I've got a couple of gold cards here from buying them. I'm in the middle of buying gold rares to do more upgrade packs today. But the real SBC we're all looking forward today is our guaranteed chance at packing a La Liga Team of the Season card. And I just lost my link here. Let's do La Liga and search this up. La Liga Tots Upgrade SBC last year was 121,000 coins to complete. Now, it was only one squad, which is, again, different from what they've been doing this year. They've been doing a two-squad setup for the requirements this year. Last year, it was one Team of the Season player required with an 87-rated squad, and that came out to about 120,000 coins. Now, the past couple of weeks, we've seen like a Bundesliga Tots upgrade and stuff like that that have required two squads, right? Last week, I think it was like 83 or 84 and 86 for the Bundesliga Tots upgrade. I would imagine, uh, just like we had with Bundesliga team of the season, we have a pretty expensive team, right? We got a 3 mil Griezmann, a 4 mil Benzema, a 7 or 6 mil Vinny, still a 700,000 coin Lewandowski, 2 million coin Eder Militao. Very expensive side still, as we've been talking about all week long. I can't imagine that this SBC is going to be as cheap as last year. I think it's going to end up being probably around 100 to 150,000 coins for this La Liga guaranteed today. How could you prepare for that? I think it's pretty simple. Just as we've been preparing every single day for the past couple of days, anything between 83s and 86s, because if they do have a two squad requirement inside of that SBC today, you're probably going to need a lower tier squad like an 83 or an 84, and you're probably going to need a middle tier squad like an 86 or an 87 rated squad, and then probably a team of the season requirement as a part of that as well. Now, the cheapest Todd's cards in this market are still dirt cheap. I think they're still like 19, 18, 19,000 coins for all Todd's cards. Probably not going to move that much today, but I do believe they would be required from the highest rated squad of the Bundesliga guarantee. So I wouldn't necessarily invest in those right now for a rise today. I would probably invest in the fodder. And again, guys, fodder continues to be like the best place to invest and trade right now on this game. Look at this, right? Last night we were talking about 82s. Buying them at like 750 to 800 and they were going to go to 1.2K. That is exactly what they did. All these guys went back up to 1.1 to 1.2K yesterday. 84s were like 6,500 coins. They're back down to 5K. And for now, basically until Friday, this is probably your last chance in the next two days. If you want to stock up on some fodder for maybe an SBC that's going to come out on Thursday, like another 81 times 11 today and then tomorrow for La Liga. 
or if there's any other player species you're working on, your fodder is probably going to be at his lowest early today. Uh, and then it probably will not drop as low tomorrow on Wednesday into Thursday because you don't have the uh, you don't have the foot champs rewards. You got the vision rivals rewards, which might impact prices a little bit. But these 85s are back down here at 8.2k. This one just got updated to be 8.6. But a lot of these guys are like 8.1, 8.2. Like that's very very low for these 85s. The 84s are low again. 83s are low again. So I would do a bit of a club stock. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a club stock and also buy some gold rares to go and do some SBCs because. I think these prices are really cheap. Now, the one thing I'll tell you is if you're investing in fodder to do a investment and not to like just put cards in your club, I would not buy the fodder cards from La Liga. One thing we noticed yesterday is that the La Liga cards, they don't go up as much, right? Because that's what everybody already has in their club. So that's why I'm looking at cards that are not from La Liga. I'm looking at like Bundesliga, Jan Sommer right here. I put that in my club. Jamie Vardy I'm going to put in the club, right? Those are the players I'm going to put in. Also for an investment purpose, those are the ones that are probably going to go up more because less people have them just sitting around in their clubs because, you know, everybody's doing La Liga upgrades right now and uh, getting the La Liga fodder. So that's what I would say to do if you're club stocking some fodder today. And again, I, I think I would focus on like the 84s and the 85s. You know, 84s are going to be in demand because of the SBCs, um, like the 81 times 11 requirements. In the 84s, but then the 85s and 86s could go up more today depending on the squad rating and the requirement of that higher tier squad if they do make it a two segmented SBC today. Now, let's talk more about actual players on the market, right? That's enough about fodder. This La Liga team of the season, guys, still is very, very expensive. Now, some prices have come down a little bit. I'm seeing Lewandowski for the first time under 700k, he's 690,000 coins right now uh, this is why this is still inside of that window that i talked about all uh, the end of last week and the early part of this week as well i was not going to trade with any of these la liga tots cards or buy them because i knew this is kind of the situation we were going to be having it's just a slight drop from these cards some of the lower tier ones have actually kind of dropped off a good amount balde is 120k he was 150k just a couple days ago so He's getting commonly packed from La Liga upgrades. If people are hitting blues, they're hitting ball day from 8111s as well. So he's kind of down in price. This is the type of card that's probably going to go a little bit lower today. Now, you think about the top tier. You think about the more expensive guys like Akunde, Pedri, Militao, the more rare guys that very few of us are going to be getting from our guaranteed La Liga team in the season's pack today. Would it be a time to invest in any of these? Put it in your club, put it in your team for a rise after today. Guys, honestly, I would wait until the pack drops, see what the requirement is, and if there's anything that you just want to buy for your team, um, and it's one of the top tier, more rare guys like Benzema, Vinny, Griezmann, you know, Pedri, Militao, Kunde, Llorente, and Valverde, yeah, maybe you could buy it then. But I just think that with ex how expensive these cards are, and again, how crazy the League One team of the season leaks and the hype starting to build up is with that, I think I would stay away, honestly. Even if it's a card you want for this weekend's weekend league, I would maybe take the risk that these cards would end up being lower on Friday with all the buildup and hype for League One, and maybe even on Saturday if you're not going to start your weekend league until then. I would I would guess that some of these cards are going to be lower then than they are right now, just because so many of them are so expensive and you know, League One looks like it's going to be really hype. So that's a gamble you kind of have to decide and, and make on your own decision right there. But, I mean, some of these guys are still very overpriced, in my opinion. And uh, I personally will probably not be trading with many or any of these guys today. Unless I see some big drop-offs heading into the SBC today, uh, I'm going to be very, very careful with messing around with these guys. I mean, Kunde is one who I would be interested in trading in because he's very rare. But still, to me, this is too expensive. Knowing a Kempembe flashback is on the horizon does not make me want to try to trade with that card even in the short term. So just be very, very careful with La Liga Tots cards today because of that, I guess, impending nature of the League One team of the season. Now, the League One leaks are continuing. And even today, one thing we have to watch out for is a loading screen. That is certainly something we have to watch out for today because that has actually dropped the last two Wednesdays on this game. We have had a loading screen for the next week of upcoming team of the season, kind of showcasing a few skill move and weak foot upgrades on a couple of the cards that are coming. Now, speaking of a couple of the cards that are coming, we have some confirmed leaks, right? We kind of are going to split the leaks up into the conversation today between two different things, right? We've got the confirmed leaks are guys that are really confirmed leakers. They usually get stuff right. And then some of the sus leaks, 
right? Stuff that we don't know and can't really trust in 100%, but part of it might be right, right? It's tough to distinguish between this stuff, but we kind of know like our good leakers like FIFA U Team, Foot Sheriff, FIFA Romania, those guys are pretty reliable, but there's a couple others that are not. Now, this isn't a surprise, right? Big names being tweeted out yesterday, Lionel Messi, Kylian Mbappe. Who's really surprised here about these guys being in League One Tots? Not me, right? So that is what it is. What it comes down to with these guys is their rating. Last year, they made Messi Tots lower rated than his team of the year. But they, uh, you know, this year, I don't know if they're going to do that because they haven't made a single team of the season card lower rated than their team of the year. The overall rating has stayed at least the same on every single card that's been in that scenario. So Messi this year, either a 98. I doubt they go for a 99 on Lionel Messi for his Tots card, but hey, you never know. And then Mbappe's team of the year card is a 97. So I would imagine his Tots card would either be a 97 or a 98 as well. But that's, of course, a big leak. Now, some of the names we maybe weren't expecting or hoped to see, Lacazette is going to be in as a part of the La Liga team of the season as well. I hope they keep his five-star skill moves from the Winter Wild Cards. That would be very necessary. And there are a lot of attackers and strikers that we want to see in this uh, League One Tots. You're going to notice here in a second for some other leaks that have been posted. A lot of strikers. Another one that's pretty much confirmed, Medina. And I'm really excited for this card because I think he's going to end up being really cracked but also really cheap. This kind of reminds me of like a Lacroix type card in terms of how um, meta he looks, maybe not quite as much pace. Hopefully EA juice up some of these guys and even make the cheaper ones look really good. Um, Medina's got an 88 rated inform, I think with like 85 pace on it. So high 80s or maybe even 90 pace is not out of the question for this Medina card. And of course he has good links to uh, Fofana, if Fofana were to get a Tots card. So those are kind of the only like concrete leaks that we have right now. Now, I will say this, Foot Sheriff tweeted in an SBC slash objective, and uh, I think this is going to be an objective. In my opinion, I would say this is an objective type card. That's the way that it looks to me. So not super crazy there. It just kind of hits you like mid, but nice links, English links in League One, if that's uh, helping out your squad building there. And uh, maybe they juice them up. Hey, I don't want to, you know, judge it too much because it's not been released yet. But that is an SBC, but we really think it's an objective leak from Foot Sheriff there. Now, the rest of the leaks that we have right now are from FIFA 23 leaks. This guy's been posting a lot yesterday. And I will say, some of these leaks make sense. Others of them... Who knows, man? I would say some of these are going to be right. Some of them are going to be wrong. And he does have some of the same leaks that FIFA U team does have. But this account, once again, I feel like we talk about it every week. This guy gets stuff wrong and he deletes his tweet. So it looks like it doesn't get it wrong, but he absolutely does. He's tweeting out Lacazette. He's tweeting out Medina. Same as FIFA U team. He's got Mbappe, right? He's also got a Cabela confirmed as a League One team of season card. That, of course, you would think would be a pretty cheap card. Kind of uh, some... Similar, I guess you could say, to Gabri Vega from this uh, La Liga team of the season side. He's got Klaus in this team of the season. So that's the first time we've seen somebody leak Klaus. He's also got the Messi that is in there. He's got Fofana in the team. Now, Fofana actually makes sense because in the UNFP, the official France um, football Twitter page, they released a player of the year vote. And Fofana, Jonathan David, Messi, Mbappe, and somebody else are in that vote. I forget who the last one is. So that one seems plausible. Fofana probably deserves a team of the season card, if we're being honest. Um, so we'll see if he actually gets one. He's leaking him. He's also leaked Neymar, which um, I feel like this guy is just leaking all the cards that everybody wants to see. Um, and we'll see if it actually comes true or not. Again, this is where you just have to be very careful. I'm not believing too much in these leaks because um, I'm going to wait for more credible guys like Foot Sheriff and uh, FIFA U team to be posting stuff. But Neymar potentially getting a moments card or a tots would be pretty crazy. We, we know he's going to get one, right? It just kind of depends on like what are the stats going to be. So this one seems like it could be a moments, I think. But we'll have to see what EA do there. He's posting Ben Yedder as well. That'd be a crazy, crazy card. I hope that Ben Yedder gets in. You could say deserved for sure, but that's uh, another one. Hakimi as well. It would be strange to have Hakimi and Klaus in the same team, but hey, there could be two right backs. We had two right backs in the Premier League team of the season. Hakimi would be pretty massive. Um, don't know who's going to get in. Hakimi, Klaus, both, who knows. Uh, Nuno Menj as a left back, he's tweeting out, right? Like I said, he's tweeting out all the cards that we would want to see, right? All the PSG leagues, all the big players, the big names in League One. Um, Lefay. Uh, that's probably looking like a fodder card. You know, didn't expect to see that one. We'll see if that happens or not. Taji Sovereignier card a couple of years ago had a really cracked team of the season card as well. Um, 
Okay, there's one. And Jonathan David, this one's deserved in my opinion. I feel like he should get a card. He was also a part of that UNFP voting. So again, guys, those leaks right there, we just have to be careful on believing 100%. Uh, and I would probably look out for more posting today from Foot Sheriff and some of those other guys that are going to get more of the confirmed leaks. And, uh, you know, that's why we always say just take everything with a pinch of salt because you just never know what is really true and what is not going to be true. Some people leak stuff nowadays just to get clout, just to get hype. And you just, again, it's just the whole mess that is created by this leak frenzy that has been in FIFA these past couple of years. People get this information, people latch onto it because it's like, oh my goodness, the hype, the building up to whatever, and it kills the surprise factor. It does. I mean, I'll be honest. It really does. It would be way better in this game with no leaks. It'd be so much more fun, so much more surprise and all that good stuff, but it's just kind of the way that it is nowadays, and this is the stuff we have to deal with because of the way uh, things have gotten with like EA and the leaks and the community and all sort of that stuff. So that's kind of what's there for League One team of the season. Watch out for a loading screen today. We might be able to, to decipher who is in the team of the season based off the leaks that we know and what the loading screen does say. Other things coming today on Wednesday. I'm looking at myself when I'm saying this. Don't forget to do Silver Stars because if you have not, it's double XP for the Al Harbi card from Saudi League Tots. Um, this one's going to be going away. We'll get a new Silver Star today, so watch on your meta Silver cards on the market. They could be rising a bit today as more people are going to be in Silver Stars trying to get those dubs for the new XP. Um, that'll be coming out for this one. And then also our daily Icon SBC is going to be Prime. Thierry Henry, and that was leaked by FIFA Romania. So very credible source, Prime Thierry Henry, somebody who has not gotten a special icon card uh, this year on FIFA, which if we're getting a Prime SBC for him, that almost makes you feel like we're not going to get another special version of Thierry Henry um, for the rest of the year, which is a bit of a bummer because it seems like EA has been putting just about the best version of all these guys in the SBC besides the Carlos Yeste. That could be an example against that, but um, I really hope we get another version of just icons in general. We always thought we were going to get Tots icons. We have heard nothing about that yet. Maybe shapeshifter icons in the summer. Who knows? Uh, but hopefully uh, this Terry Henry SBC, it looks like his card is around 400,000 coins. I'm sure it's dropped off a bit since the leak. This SBC probably needs to be like 350 to 400,000 coins for it to be decent value and craftable. Uh, and it's kind of funny, right? They're, they're releasing this Terry Henry um, as a card inside of the La Liga team of the season, right? A Barcelona legend. Well, when you think of Thierry Henry, most people don't think of Barcelona. They think of Arsenal. But again, this is a icon that has played in La Liga, as Thierry Henry did, and that's why he's getting a icon SBC. And then, of course, today as well, we're getting the usual refresh of your 81 times 11 and uh, all the stuff that is in the SBC section. So I'm going to be building more upgrade packs. It's tough out here, man. I packed Gabri Vega like I don't even know how many more times Yesterday, I packed, or sorry, G Javi Galan. I keep com combining uh, Gabri Vega and Javi Galan. I packed Javi Galan like three more times yesterday. Finally bought it, got a Sebastian Druisi. But I am still trying to pack as many of these La Liga team of the seasons as possible. And maybe today, for some reason, EA will turn up the pack weight. We can only hope. We, probably not expecting it, but we can only hope. So I'm going to build more upgrade packs. We're going to open more of those on stream today. Try to hit some blues and uh, try to get the cup games done. Open our guaranteed La Liga today. So it'll be a fun time chilling and hanging out on the Twitch stream. That link is down below in the description if you want to check it out there. But that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Food Account. See you in the stream today. Peace.